there with the deer. And that's what you do when you're an adult. And that's the <laughs> Now we are tied. Do we need, do they have plugs at Crest? Oh man, did you get the right pl uh, tables? Um, Should we bring this? Yeah, it'd probably be wise. Oh! Uh, Popping pills back here. Don't you worry. You're acting like a hood rat in my vlog right now. Do what I want. You know what else I just did? Catch me outside. Put a blade in my pocket. <laughs> Okay guys, I am at Craft Cafe now and just working on editing today because T-Squad doesn't have anything on the schedule. So neither do we. <laughs> this is Stephanie. She is the story leader for T-Squad and I've talked about that before. I was a story leader and now I'm a story coach. If you remember Jesse, she's my mentee and so Stephanie is that role as well. And so we were just doing a tutorial on editing because she has all this footage and she's been sitting on it and so now she is equipped and empowered Amen. to release it so you can be expecting that soon. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. All right, well now I have to do it because I know you guys are going to be looking out for it. So, yeah. no. Jewel just gave me all the wisdom and all the things that she knows. Now it's in my head in the small amount. Like, no, big amount. <laughs> big amount. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Have you been enjoying expeditions? So far, so good. It's been a very life changing experience, I would say. Um, living in community is very intense. Tell you that much. So if you are if you are considering the world race and want to go, expect to be living community like legit 24/7. You can't hide anything at all. <laughs> so true. Yeah. Literally. You're like I had no idea that was wrong with me until I lived with you. <laughs> yeah. There you go. I was actually wondering. This is on the spot, but I was just wondering, what is it about expedition that attracted you? I was gonna um, ask you that earlier off camera. Yeah. I'm just wondering. Someone had posted on Facebook this question. Oh, yeah. Will everybody get to hear Christ? Will get to accept Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior before He comes back? I just decided to like, oh, okay. Hmm. Is that really the case? And then fast forward to two weeks later, a good friend of mine at work, um, we talk about everything from like literally everything. And he asked me that question and he was like, right now somewhere in the middle of Africa, somewhere, there's probably a village full of people who are close up civilization, like how do they get to hear Christ really? Um, and, um, and I was like, oh, that's a good point. Like who are reaching out to those people? I did this prayer randomly. I'm like, God, you know, if you if I want to be, if you want me to be one of those workers that goes there and reach out to those people who don't know yet or who are close up civilization and don't know anything about the outside world, then please. I would like to be one of them. And little did you know, expedition is basically the definition of that. Going out in those nations, we're close off to it, we've never heard of Christ right. before, right. and I get to do that every day. So that's what it's Oh, it sounds like you had a very pure heart. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Yes. Yes. Very cool. That's basically why expedition and why I chose it, really. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah, be excited to see some footage from Stephanie. When she releases something, I will let you know. Yes. I'll put it out there. So you guys can follow them long after. We're going to go home in like a week, and they're going to be on the field until November. Yeah. Until November. Go until November. All right, we're back now, and I am going to go. I have a, a little bucket list item I need to check off before we leave Yangon. So. Not a life bucket list goal, just a Yangon bucket list goal. I want to go drink some tea on the side of the road because they do that here every five feet. Okay, we found a place to have tea. The chairs are really small. For these massive male Americans. You look so big, Owen. Oh, see? Oh. This is an experience. Milk, tea, tea. Milk, tea. tea. Five. Five? Yeah, five. 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 Five.
Alright, we got uh, Indian tea. Yeah, no. It's too hot to open yeah, anymore. Oh, here you go, coming in hot. Coming in hot. Thank you. Thank you. It's Indian, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Everyone could have lived without that. <laughs> Other. But you're all on the phone. See, me and my friends, we don't have data, so we can't do that. <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about, do you see all these red stains on the ground? Do you see them? Do you see them? Here's a bunch. So that is actually um, spit. So the, the men here, like a lot of the men here, they chew this red stuff and it's kind of like dipping, like when you have a, a dip in your mouth and it makes their teeth red and they constantly spit it everywhere. And so I feel like it's like a countrywide epidemic because every I've been to three cities now and there's all the sidewalks are covered in red spit. So, and this is our doorman. Well, he's like the security guard. And your name is Ting Mu? Ting Mu. Ting Mu. And he's so nice. And every day we walk past him, we say, Ming Laba. And he has a really nice smile. And I just wanted him to be in the vlog. He too. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I was walking past this uh, convenience store, and they were basically closed, but they had their gate like all the way down. And I like crouched down, and I was like, can I have some water? And they were like, sure. I said, bring me a big one. And I meant like this kind. And they come back with this one. And so <laughs> I was like, how much is that? And they said, uh, 800. And so 1300 is around a dollar. And I was like, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll take that. So this is my water. Oh, an update on my health. I have avoided sugar for the most part for the past four days now. I've had it in very minimal amounts. I mean, I've had like sips of Coke, like a couple sips of Coke and... I feel like I had, oh, and that, like, that tea today had some sugar in it. So I've had little teeny amounts, but for the most part, I haven't had any. And I've had lots of water, and so I've been feeling really good, in case you guys were wondering. So, that's the secret. It was obvious. It's not really a secret. <laughs> okay, thanks for watching this video. Um, please thumbs it up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. There have been a lot of new subscribers lately, about 2,000 in the past, like, month or so. So, welcome to the new people. Very excited to have you. And my name's Julia. And, yeah, if you're not one of those new people and you haven't subscribed, subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.